if you've been paying attention to this, but we've been getting some major acts of social media censorship lately. How you end up interpreting these actions actually matters. While it may please you that some people you disagree with are being deplatformed, other voices that are being deplatformed should trouble you. What it seems to be coming down to again and again of late is that the powers don't like some of these voices. It's police state full-blown authoritarianism. Here's an example from the World Socialist website. Reddit bans 2,000 communities in major censorship action by Kevin Reed, July 2nd. In a major act of social media censorship, the news aggregation site Reddit banned more than 2,000 communities known as subreddits on Monday claiming they were in violation of the platform's new content policy against hate speech. The most prominent of the terminated subreddits was a right-wing forum called r slash the Donald, a pro-Trump group that was a notorious online gathering place for sharing racist, anti-Semitic, and anti-Islamic memes, videos, and other content. The subreddit had approximately 790,000 active members. Reddit executives, including CEO Steve Huffman, also a founder of the platform, argued that the group had regularly broken platform rules by allowing its members to target and harass others with hate speech. Huffman told reporters on Monday, Reddit is a place for community and belonging, not for attacking people. The Donald has been in violation of that. In an official statement on its content policy, Reddit wrote, all communities on Reddit must abide by our content policy in good faith. We banned r slash the Donald because it has not done so, despite every opportunity. The community has consistently hosted and upvoted more rule-breaking content than average, rule one, antagonized us and other communities, rules two and eight, and its mods have refused to meet our most basic expectations. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a lot of control freaks on Reddit. The full eight-point content policy can be found here, Reddit content policy. However, according to a report in the Washington Post, by the time Reddit shut down r slash the Donald, there was little sign of recent activity. The most popular posts were several months old. Maybe what we have is a little posturing here. Meanwhile, hiding behind the banning of the widely despised subreddit r slash the Donald, Reddit executives also took action to shut down some 2,000 other groups, including a popular left radical forum called r slash Chapo Trap House, named after a popular podcast, which had approximately 160,000 users in its community. Although the subreddit is not officially sponsored by the Chapo Trap House podcast, it is associated with something called the dirtbag left, a political tendency that eschews civility and uses vulgarity to advance its ideas, which can be characterized as hostile to neoliberalism and political correctness. The group emerged during the 2016 presidential primaries and campaigned aggressively for the nomination of Bernie Sanders against Hillary Clinton and Joseph Biden in 2020. Full disclosure, I am a proud member of the dirtbag left. And I'd say the most offensive thing about the dirtbag left to neoliberals is that we were Bernie or bust, that we were in no way ever going to come around and vote for a corporate sock puppet for president. And I think they've held that against us ever since. And I think that's what was behind removing the Chapo Trap House subreddit from Reddit. The Reddit banning of r slash Chapo Trap House was based, according to the platform's statement, on the fact that it consistently hosted rule-breaking content and their mods have demonstrated no intention of reigning in their community. Mods are volunteer moderators responsible for managing and monitoring the activity in subreddit communities. I guess they just couldn't rein in their community to the point where they would promise to vote for Joe Biden instead of Bernie Sanders. Reining them in, reining us in, reining in the dirtbag left. I guess they want us to watch our tone. Among the hundreds of other subreddits banned by the platform, Reddit claimed that 90% of them had less than 10 users. The company published a list of all 200 banned subreddits with 10 or more users, but provided no explanation as to why those had been deleted. 
The censorship moves by Reddit represent a departure from the company's previous posture, which has been hands-off since its founding in 2005, allowing moderators to determine what content is permitted within subreddit communities. With the conversion of the site, which has called itself the front page of the internet, into a property of the new house publishing empire, Condé Nast slash advanced publications, and the adoption of an advertising revenue model, the demands of sponsors and the American political establishment have forced policy changes. So now you know the rest of the story. The donor class has taken over Reddit. The censorship at Reddit is part of a broader campaign on all social media platforms against, quote, hate speech, driven by the demands of advertisers in the wake of the mass protests against police violence following the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis on Memorial Day. Make no mistake, these advertisers don't care about offending black people. The only thing these advertisers worry about is revenue. They want everyone to calm the fuck down and get back to working and buying shit they don't need. So that explains the removal of the Trump group. As reported by the Washington Post on Monday, Facebook is facing a growing advertiser boycott over its refusal to remove a Trump post that many saw as encouraging violence during the George Floyd protests. The article added, Twitter hid the post with a warning label, noting that the post broke the company's policies against encouraging violence. It has been reported that Ford, Unilever, Starbucks, and Verizon are boycotting putting ads on Facebook for the month of July in an effort to force the platform to submit to an audit of how it controls hate speech. They don't really care about hate speech. They just want to keep us workers working, whether or not it's safe. On June 18th, Facebook deactivated dozens of President Trump's campaign ads for their inclusion of a symbol associated with a Nazi designation for political prisoners in World War II. Amazon-owned live streaming site Twitch also temporarily suspended the Trump campaign account for violating its rules of conduct against hate speech, and Google-affiliated YouTube shut down the video channels of white supremacists such as David Duke. It is becoming increasingly clear that financial and corporate interests, along with the entire political establishment and intelligence apparatus of U.S. imperialism, are moving rapidly to gain control over the information and political discussions taking place on social media platforms accessed daily by billions of people around the world. Ding, ding, ding. I want to make sure you caught that. It is becoming increasingly clear that financial and corporate interests, along with the entire political establishment and intelligence apparatus of U.S. imperialism, are moving rapidly to gain control over the information and political discussions taking place on social media platforms accessed daily by billions of people around the world. So whether or not you like Donald Trump's campaign materials, you have to take note of the fact of who's taking his shit down. While the coronavirus pandemic continues to expand throughout the world, the same corporations that are withholding advertising from the social media platforms on the pretext of concern over hate speech are demanding that workers everywhere in the world return to their jobs and risk becoming sick and dying or infecting their family members. The latest censorship moves by Reddit confirm the analysis made here on the World Socialist website last April when moderators for the subreddit r slash coronavirus banned the domain wsws.org from sharing articles in that community of over 2 million users. So in effect, they banned World Socialist website from publishing material on the coronavirus subreddit. 
The moderators banned our articles on the grounds that they constituted off-topic political discussion and that the WSWS.org was not a reliable source. I guess you have to be MSNBC or Fox News to be considered a reliable source. If World Socialist website had more money and power, I'm sure they'd be considered a reliable source, especially if they had lots of advertising revenue to throw around. In response, we wrote, Given that references to reliable and recognized sources are well-known euphemisms for the corporate media, and our article had already received a widespread response on r slash coronavirus, the banning of the WSWS by subreddit moderators is unmistakably an act of political censorship designed to block our analysis of the unfolding crisis from reaching the public. The big companies aren't interested in your analysis because it riles the workers up. They want things to get back to normal. They want the workers to get back to doing their fucking jobs. Your analysis is attempting to rile up the workers and getting to stand up for themselves. So we're definitely in a police state. The military intelligence complex is telling these platforms what they're allowed to promote and what they have to keep off. It's just like the CIA being in charge of war movies. And most regular people don't even realize what's going on.